I hope you all are doing well today. Welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today, I wanted to kind of talk about um, all these challenges that are going on with the kids. And I've seen kids and adults, because I've seen some adults do some crazy things. And it's a lot. I've seen some videos about it, but I think that it's so important that we all get on board and get to talking to, you know, first of all, some people may not even be aware that there are challenges going on because everybody's not on Facebook, so every so everybody don't know like what you're talking about. But I think it's so important that we as parents, as grandparents, as aunts and uncles get to know. And I had to I had to realize this, y'all, because a lot of things I just don't get into. You know what I'm saying? I don't get into it, don't feed into it. But at the same time, we need to know what it is our kids are listening to and looking at. And that goes from parents to grandparents, the, the, the words. You know what I'm saying? Because there can be things and there are things that are going on that we totally need to talk to our kids about. And if even if you don't have a child that's underage, I talk to my older kids. My oldest son is 28 years old. Yeah, I know. He'll, he's almost 29. My daughter is 24, she'll be 25 this year. I have a 21, 22 year old and a 20 year old. I still talk to them about things that I see and things that I hear. So I say that to say, don't get so high on your horse or get so holy and sanctified that you don't know what's going on in the world. And it's not that you, you don't have to be of the world, but you need to know what's going on in the world because we need to talk to our kids about this stuff that is just crazy and stuff that's going on, y'all. We need to talk to them about these challenges that are going on. I talk to my grandkids, and they are all young. My um, The ones that, you know, are able to get up and walk and talk, like Tootie and my um, granddaughter, Trinaya and um, Ajane and... They're the oldest grandkids that I have. And then I have a lot of other kids in my family. Y'all, we have to be responsible and accountable for the kids in our family. Just because they're not your kids does not mean that you don't need to talk to them. So get on Facebook, get on social media, and find out what is going on if you're not already. Not saying that you're not, but I'm saying if you are not. Because it is so important that we stay up on top of the songs that they're listening to. Because you know what? Sometimes I see my granddaughter, um, Denia, she'll have on headphones and listening, you know, to music. I, at times, go and I just walk up to him and say, hand me the iPad. And she's like, huh? Or hand me the phone, huh? Yeah, hand it over. I mean, I'm up on her so quick because you need to know what they're listening to. What, because I'm telling you, social media, these rappers, stars, all this kind of stuff really are like affecting kids these days. So I walk up and say, hey, what are you doing? Let me see what you're doing. Let me see what you're listening to. I go back in the history on stuff. They don't even know that I'm doing it. I talk to um, them about and a lot listen to these kids. Y'all go listen to these kids. When they're carrying on conversations, my TV is not always blasting up. My, you know, I'm listening to what they're saying, what they're talking about. And a lot of times I could just hear them. They could be in the other room or something. I just turn the TV down and just sit there. Yeah. You find out a lot of stuff just by listening and a lot of times you know I get into conversations with them hey tell me what's going on or they'll just start talking and I see people when kids start talking they shoot the kids away they don't want to hear what the kids have to say you better start listening to these kids and knowing what's going on what are they involved in what are they talking about because you need to talk to them about this stuff before it becomes a big problem and you know and I talk to them and tell them you know why you shouldn't do this or why you shouldn't do that and it's not in a down way like you better do this or you better do that and you better not do no I don't do that because a lot of times when you start that they tune you out they don't want to hear nothing you got to say they go deaf on your tail so no don't do that but be aware of what they're talking about who they're talking to what is going on and things like that and you can hear some of these problems off ahead of time or at least you know what I'm saying if they're in a situation I know I talk with my hands, y'all. But anyway, if they're in a situation, they may actually 
remember what it is that you said like okay i remember my grandma saying so and so and so i remember my mama or my cousin or my aunt or whatever saying this this and that you know they remember what we say believe it or not because i'm telling you from growing up a lot of times i didn't want to hear like what my mother had to say or my grandmother had to say but a lot of times when i found myself in a situation it's like those voices rang in my head about what it is that they you know what they were talking about and able enabled me to handle the situation better because i remembered them talking about the situation so know what kids are doing get in on these look at these challenges i'm telling you if you're not on facebook and you're raising kids that is a mistake and it's not to say you gotta have friends all that kind of stuff, but you need to go on there and know what they're talking about, know what they're doing, and know their passwords to stuff. They cannot, you cannot have a password in my house. I'm sorry, you just cannot do it that I don't know about. And my oldest son, his girls are older, but at the same time, well, 12, you know, older, but at the same time, he's like, um, let me see your Facebook page. He has passwords and he does not play that. He will at any time say, hand me your phone, hand me your iPad, you know, things like that. And they don't know when he's going to do it, you know, and of course you can't do it every day. But at the same time, you need to go back in history. That's the point is to know what your kids are doing. Talk, talk to them about it. And hopefully we can head off some of this crazy stuff that's going on because a lot of times the devil is able to sneak in because he knows that you didn't you know that you don't even know what's going on i mean honestly for real y'all so not to say that you don't but i'm just saying pass it on and if you don't please start because we need to take control of our kids and have control about what it is that they do and anytime anybody changes a password oh the account is shut down deleted taken offline everything it's a wrap you know so yeah Get up on top of this stuff. Talk to kids about what's going on, y'all, because it's so important that we do that. All right? That's my two cents for today. That's my vlog for today, y'all. I've been doing good this month. Yeah. See you later. Peace. Bye. Oh, and I did get you ladies' messages about collabing with me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Some of you, I know, left messages on the video, and then some of you actually... Um, sent me messages and I appreciate that and I'm looking forward to it so I will be contacting you very soon and we'll get something started and I appreciate it all right y'all peace bye